Ah, oh, shit, he's got human guards too. What's the point of that? Do you think this thing can see what we're doing? No. When they're like this, they're blind. They can still hear, though. They'll wake up at any loud noise, or if a fight breaks out. Still kind of creepy. I have to work hard to ignore them. I find it kind of exciting. Like being watched. But not really. Oh, she's into, uh... Voyeurism, I guess. One human guard down. Don't know where the other one went. But I have levels of curiosity. Oh, man. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do with this body. I'm gonna put it in the front area. Because I don't want to see what happens if I reconfigure this place and it kills a person. Hey! These are the more human-like masks. I don't know if we encounter some of his older models. Also, obviously, I need to get, like, behind the, the, uh, the walls at some point to, like, really navigate this place. Alright. Instructions to staff. To my privileged staff, today Mr. Hydros and Mrs. Uh, Vivian will be visiting to purchase a pair of clockwork soldiers. My instructions are as follows. The arc pylon should be stowed beneath the floor. Let's not vaporize our guests. Bring it back up only in the event of a disturbance. Lay out refreshments and prepare dinner for after the contracts have been signed. If they grow restless and demand to see me, tell them that I will be with them shortly and ask them, escort them to the waiting room. Do not activate the mechanism that lowers the waiting room into the assessment chamber. I will do that once I arrive. Ooh, he's fucking fancy with people. Okay, we already read this. And we can't read this one. Alright. I don't know where this guy is. He sounds like he's to my left. <laughs> I imagine this room probably also doesn't reconfigure, so I can probably leave them in here, too. Oh, I can maybe take the plaque? Ah! 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 Okay, sorry. <laughs> I bumped into the robot, and that counts as two spotting by the enemies? Jesus. Okay, did I just get spotted in general? Alright, so no, this guy counted as two spots. Maybe because, uh, there was an enemy around the corner, so we don't want to bump him. But I am curious, I want to test this out. So... Uh, first off... Spring Razor. Okay, enemy encountered. Alright, Spring Razors are pretty good. <laughs> I'm finding all the things that can immediately tear them apart. So I could put down two spring razors around him, and maybe that would be good? That'd be a good way to take him out immediately. One thing I want to check out 
is the Howling Bolts. Unauthorized presence. Okay, enemy encountered. Mm, military profile, but hostile. Okay, that didn't work. How about... Well, obviously, the stinging bolt and the sleeping bolt does nothing. Sticky grenade. The machine has entered the side. combat. Get the machine to space. Ow! What the, the fuck was that about, buddy? Glad to see that there are a couple oh, people around here. Yeah. you. I'm not impressed. What's going anywhere? You and me now. What the? <laughs> he just runs off like, what the fuck? Enjoy the reconfigured room space! Ooh. This room's kind of creepy when you reconfigure it. It also has a direct straight access to this back the place. space behind the walls. God, this place is fucking crazy as hell. Okay, we're gonna go back. I was just curious. So if I want to take this guy out, the stun mine is the way to do it. End of sweet days. Fuck. <laughs> Okay. If I'm going to put the stun mine down, I need to immediately hide. Good to know. Fucking... I wish there was a way that you could, like, set it and be like, Nope, don't activate immediately. Oh, hey. The I can get, space behind the walls. I can get into the space behind the walls. Without very... Uh, without much effort. Need up. Anyways, I want to take this out because it has a plaque that says four, we got a plaque that says two, possibly one that also might have gone one and three. And I really do think that's going to be used for like a puzzle or some shit. But before we do anything, I am going to try and take out all the human guards. Sokolov technology in the new age. One of the advantages of Sokolov's technologies is that they share the same magnetic socket for the tanks of processed whale oil they use as fuel. When a tank is exhausted, another can be plugged into place with ease. And the process is simple enough that any common workman, or even the lower guardsmen of the city watch, can handle the task. This applies to the arc pylon and wall of light security systems, as well as the carriage used for uh, transport by those who are wealthy enough to afford them. The only obvious downside of Sokolov's designs is the volatility of the oil itself. A few incidents have occurred, resulting in damage to the property or bodily harm whenever one of the tanks has exploded. Yeah, they just get to practice not getting themselves blown up, and you know that work out. If I get the chance, I'm going to ask for a transfer to the Grand Palace. Why shouldn't I? I deserve as much. All right, so there's three guards in this area. You got this guy. Over here is the hallway we just left. This place gives me the heebie-jeebies. Nice. Alright, we got a sleeping guard. With the key! Ah, The key I need for him is in the room with him! Or one of them, at least, I hope. Huh. Um, I think something moved. This 
playback indicates that the machine is waking up. Did the fucking machine just run out of the room? Oh god. That was fast! That was really fucking fast! Great. Now I have a giant robot walking around that I don't know where the hell it is. What is up with these fucking rats? Where the hell did the robot go? Oh. Found it! Okay. We're gonna test out this thing's general curiosity. Machine should begin scouting the vicinity. Okay, it has a human level of curiosity. Clockwork part? Oh, cool, I can throw his body parts around! Oh, uh, where's the plague? They didn't hear him fucking explode, jeez. Where the fuck did the plaque go? Either exploded away from him? Or it's like underneath one of his parts, ugh. Oh, there are his guests. Maybe they're in a blue, uh, a soundproof room. What is up with the rats? Squeak, squeak, squiggle, 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 squiggle. Aha! There we go. Got the black. Okay, so I can't get in the waiting for room from this area, but I might be able to if I go up this window or I pull one of the switches. I don't want to pull any of the switches while these people are alive and awake. You think at these prices, the man wouldn't keep us waiting? There's only one Kieran Jindosh. He can charge whatever he likes. Besides, you're rich enough to afford a couple of the clockworks. I happen to know you've doubled your fortune since the Duke took over the silver mines. Lower wages means higher profits, but it's my time that's precious. I'm not used to waiting. Neither am I. When was the last time someone had me waiting for more than an hour? I can't remember. It's almost titillating. How many clockworks did you say there were? It's a numbered set, if I recall. It is indeed, but 36, 46? <laughs> Very exclusive, whatever the count. Oh god. Everyone at the Garden Club will be green with envy. Well, hopefully I don't have to destroy 36 robots, because, uh, that's not what I signed up for. Okay. They're civilians, so I can't... They shouldn't do much to them. I actually wonder, if I piss off civilians, do they count as a detection? I guess we'll have to find out. Because I'm going to have to drop in that room anyways. If I was Emily, I could just wave my hand and have them fuck off. But we can be a little bit more clever than that. <laughs> oh, there's a fucking hole above the door, jeez. Oops. Oh 
<laughs> oh, that was brutal. Punch in the face! Ooh, money in the, the fountain. Thanks, guys. I'm very poor, I need this. Fuck, what the hell's going on down there? Ugh. All right, I'm pulling the switch. I want to see what happens. Ah. It swaps out? The arrangement? Oh, fuck! No, 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 no! Put it back, put it back, put it back, put it back! Oh shit! Wait, I can pull out the thing? Nope, that's not how it works. Ah! <laughs> uh, Most people are happy just doing a job. That's an art pylon. That's bad for business. Shit. Charm that does things for looting or like knock people out. So I just have to be more careful. Yeah, nice. Alright, and what number do you have? Six. Mm. I could blow him up. <laughs> that's that's a thing I could do. Josh won't mind if I use a bit of his whale oil. <laughs> I just have to make sure that no one's uh, within killing range. I think three should be sufficient enough, but just in case, we'll do four. Oh, wait, not up, I didn't fill this up. I looked away from my screen, looked back, and I was just- I just committed to it mentally. I'm liking the whale oil sinking through the floor. That's a uh, very Jindosh design. Wasn't that just above here? Ah, yeah. Neato. Let's get this chick out of here. Now, before I blow this guy up. I want to make sure there's no guards, like, right around the corner. Ah, fuck. The fuck's going on here? An operative. How do I make it operative? Ugh. 
Let us find out. Hmm. Okay. I obviously have to do something and then pull the switch. But what I need to pull might not actually be available just yet. Right, I might have to move the room around a little bit. Or something. Okay. If I blow up the whale oil, the one over here will notice. And we don't need that right now. It'll also scare the civilians into finding a body. God, fuck. I have to rethink how I'm gonna blow these guys up. I know. I know what I'm gonna do. No, it would take too much. Never mind. I was gonna- I, I was thinking that I was gonna maybe chain the whale oil all the way across. But yeah, that would take too much effort. Seven. What the fuck? Can I look at what I have right now? Let's see. Mission items. Okay, so... Those don't count as mission items. What the fuck do the plaques do, then? I like the way that's phrased. Taking a non-lethal approach will create less chaos, resulting in a more optimistic ending. Can I listen to audiographs from here? Oh yeah, I can. I finally understand it. There's a part of Hypatia that she doesn't even know about. Cool, I like that more than just standing around the thing. in her mind takes over and forces her to use more of the original serum with some... Shut up, okay. If I put a razor mine on him, maybe we could do stuff. Actually, if I put a razor mine like right over here, we could really fuck with him. Fuck it. Playback indicates that the machine is waking up. Beep boop. <laughs> does that count as uh being detected? Fuck, it does. Oh, that's dumb. That makes me really sad. Okay. So I cannot. I can't actually do that. <laughs> Goddamn. I wonder if I can shoot the eyes off. Like the headpiece off. Ah! God, I walked right into him! Well, this is a good opportunity to find out, okay. huh? Okay, enemy encountered. Ah! Holy ah. shit! Wooden housing breach. <laughs> the machine is now lying on the Alternative tactical mode. Okay, the machine has detected. The machine has detected itself dying. Now, where does this falling elevator lead? Oh. Hey, guys! Ow, God. You know, I just suffered a very bad concussion from this fall, and your first instinct is to throw a rock at me? You don't even know who I am! It, I'm in shock right now. You rude-ass individuals. <laughs> you bastard! Ooh. Oh fuck, Anton's in there? Ugh. That looks like a mess. Okay.
I'm just trying to take out all the plaques in case I need them for maybe even saving Sokolov, right? Like, I just insert them into the door and things are good. Uh, so obviously we don't need this. I need to get them far away from the robot before shit starts going down. Right, we don't have anything spotted yet. Good, that's what I'm caring for. Oh shit. Oh. Okay, I thought it flew off. I wanna see what happens if I, um... If I stick this on his face. End of sleep phase. The machine has entered combat. Yes, your limb has been attached. Combat protocol eight. Ow! He fucking stomped at me, you little shit. Ow, 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 ow. Cool. I could try something else then. So, fucking attaching a razor wire to its head does not destroy its head or much of anything. You legitimately have to, like, put two razor wires down in order to take it, take it out. It's annoying, but whatever. I guess you could say that's my own fault for not getting more razor wire upgrades? Okay. Let's see what happens if I... Strike the head! Playback indicates that the machine is... Waking up. protection. <laughs> For detection registered. Enemy evasion successful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's actually really fun taking these robots out. I love uh I love enemies that have like limb detachment that actually makes a slight difference. And the fact that he comments on it makes it feel even more impactful. I just kind of don't have much else to... I don't know how to take these guys non-lethally without, like, overloading them with a shit ton of uh, other things. Like, apparently, if I, like, throw a grenade at him or something or I blow him up with something loud, that counts as being spotted. And that's what has me worried the most. I don't want to be spotted just because I'm trying to blow the motherfucker up instantaneously. So I need, like, a stun mine or something. Oh, hey! Oh, that's cool. He, like, takes pictures of the, uh, thing moving around. How does this work? Does this spin? I spin! Spoon. <laughs> when will the mirrors show who I really am inside? Uh, is there anything of use to hear? Ooh, letter from Duke Abil. Kieran, my dear grand inventor, who else possesses such a keen mind? Could any other of my inner circle uh, achieve such industrial marvels? I appreciate how superbly your clockwork soldiers performed in Dunwall. Cutting those gods, still loyal to Emily Caldwin to ribbons. And Brianna Ashworth claims you've been invaluable, helping her with her oraculum contraption. Delilah will be pleased. Please dispatch a courier as soon as you have what you need from Anton Sokolov. Press him as you see fit. No methods are off limits. You must find a way to produce your clockwork soldiers in greater quantities. Ugh. Ramsey and the Crown Killer were just the start. I need to break down Delilah's remaining allies. Jindosh, the Duke, uh -oh, uh -oh. all of them. I guess he heard me. Enemy Ow. at rear playback. Playback for unambiguous enemy. <laughs> Combat for damage to head. The machine is not long enough on your arm to be those things overheat, but I'm not glad that it, I don't know what happened there. It either hurt me or just, ugh. 
<sighs> I'm just gonna have to like look around for another stun mine or something. Oh, you know what? I know what happened now. So this room spins around. And there's another fucking robot in here. This is a completely different robot than the one I was seeing before. Right? Activation. No, it just activates on its own! Oh, well, fuck that! <laughs> fuck that noise! So it activates because of... ...shifting the environment. So I do have to figure a way to take this guy out before I start fucking around with the environment... ...itself. Oh, that's frustrating. Fuck you, robot! Oh, yeah, that's lovely. You just, uh, you keep doing that. Ah! Uh, invert faction. Intriguing. So can I kill you now? I think that counts as being spotted. No! I can tear it apart and it's all like, all right, cool, bro. Ah! Okay. Well, 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 well. That's one way we can handle the situation. I just need to not have him fucking explode on me and we'll be good. It's this little side pocket on him. Fuck, it still exploded! Ugh. You know what? I'll take it. Just give me the goddamn plaque. Did not count for... Spotted, then that's- that's all I need. Plaque. Well, at least I have a- a reason to use my rewire tools now. Beforehand, I was kind of sitting there like, Well, I can't use it on anything. But no, here we go. Use it on robots. Uh, my efforts to fine-tune the electroshock machine have been less than successful, breaking down the more bothersome elements of a subject's personality, such as willpower, while leaving cognition and creativity unharmed has proven unrealistic. Instead, my machine leaves the subject babbling like a child, which is the opposite of what I need from Sokolov. What Are kind of torturing joke him? is this? With this machine, maybe you won't have to die after all, Jindosh. Oh, no. We're gonna use the electroshock machine on him. That's fucked up. 